Ugreen is a super popular brand with high community following as they not only make a wide range of charging solutions but computer accessories as well. Today we are taking a look at their Nexode series, the 45 watt mini travel charger as well as a whopping 140 watts multi-port charger for prosumers with greater charging needs. GAN stands for gallium nitride, a material used in semiconductors that produce less heat at higher power draw and deliver better conversion efficiency from AC to DC in return for more power delivery or faster charging speed. Other benefits include more parts can be tightly packed together to make a compact size charger while being lightweight as well. Before we talk about the charger's performance, Ugreen do sell a wide variety of fast charging cables that is compatible with this charger as well as other chargers in their lineup. I'm just cherry picking the two cables right here for my personal needs since I'm a MacBook Pro user, iPhone user, smart, uh, Android smartphone user as well as a camera geek and twist that likes to shoot cinema stuff. So the first cable that I recommend is basically this, the Ugreen 100 watts USB-C to USB-C PD cable right here. It comes in one, two, 3 meters long option, nylon braided with the ends right here that you can bend it at awkward position and it still function. Just don't do what I'm doing. I'm just showing you that the cable right here is built tough and is meant to last for a long time. Now, one thing good about this cable right here, it is capable of charging up to 100 watts thanks to its built-in e-market chip right here. And I did validate it with my tester right there. It does have that chip to run that high wattage. Now, the second cable that I would, re would recommend is actually this right here, the Ugreen PD USB-C to Lightning cable right here. You can see the Lightning end right here. So, it comes with the same cable quality as I showed as the cable earlier and the same three size configuration. This one can do 30 watts charging and it's certified by Apple M5 with a built-in latest Apple C94 chip. So when you hook it up to let's say the iPhone 13 Pro Max right here, it will register as a genuine Apple accessory. So you know that when it comes to data transfer or charging, there is some assurance right there. Let's start with the next Note Mini 45 watt dual USB-C charger right here. It is all matte finish and gunmetal color option right here. Makes it very distinct look and very premium. It feels very lightweight. It's smaller than palm size. And it also features this integrated US prongs right here that can snap into position and be kept for a compact look. Here is an iPhone 13 Pro Max as a size reference. I'm going to put it below the camera module. It's just slightly longer than the camera module. Put it below the iPhone. You can see how tiny it is. It's like literally one fourth of the iPhone. Now, looking at the ports in detail right here, so you can see there is the notebook side and the smart sofa. You can actually use either one port right here. Now, the USB ports right here, individually, is rated to give up to maximum 45 watt rated charging. From my personal test, the C1 port right here can do 50 watts, whereas the C2 port right here can do 49 watts. When both ports are used together, PD charging is triggered and the rated output is also 45 watts. My personal test shows it can do 47 watts. Overall, it performs better than advertised as expected from a notable brand. But here is a detailed diagram of how one of more ports is maxed out as well as a quick summary of each port's voltage, amperage and wattage. Next is the next note, 140 watts wall charger. It is palm size right here and despite its compact size looking, I can feel some weight to it. It's densely packed all the components inside here, right here thanks to gun technology. So on the very front, you have your USB port. On the very back right here, you have the integrated USB prongs that flips out and hard snaps into position. It has the same gun metal color and matte finish like the mini 45 watt. Overall, it is one of the better looking, compact looking gun chargers in the market right now. So Ugreen has its experience. Now, aside from that, I'm going to show you a size comparison. Again, this is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I align it accordingly. It's literally half the size of an iPhone. But that's not all. This is a typical 180 watts gaming charger right here. And look at the Ugreen. The Ugreen is 140 watts. It's literally half 
the size of a gaming brick. Oh my god, this gaming brick is so heavy. I'm gonna put it aside. And that's not all. Ugreen provides you this cable in the package when you purchase the 140 watt wall charger right here. This is a USB C to USB C. 1.5 meters long that is capable of charging up to 240 watts beautiful and this is the pd tester right here it's validated it can do so so despite this charger right here is 140 this cable can be brought forward to use in any of Ugreen's USB-C chargers, gun chargers and their upcoming powerful chargers. The reason why you want to have this combo right here is a lot of gaming notebooks in the future will slowly adapt the adopt sorry the USB 4 or Thunderbolt 4 standard of charging them. So you don't need to carry big heavy bricks like this. You can carry a compact charger with multiple ports which the gaming brick does not have. So Let's talk about the performance. That's the important bit right here. So starting with the top right here, the USB-A is rated for 22.5 watts maximum output. My test shows it can do 27 watts, better than advertised. Whereas the USB-C2, the middle port right here, is rated for 100 watts charging with power delivery 3.1. My test show it can do 120 watts. That's great. Lastly is the main highlight, the usb C1 port right here is rated for 140 watts with PD 3.1. My test show it can do a whopping 155 watts, much better than advertised. Again, what I'm doing right here is using a power delivery stress loader test so I can try to max out what are the capabilities of each port. Please do not mimic what I'm doing as a technical reviewer. My job is to test, validate and review to give you the confidence in purchasing your products. So you don't need to stress your products to go to the maximum limit. I'm just doing so you guys can see what is capable of. But I also try different port configuration like uh, two ports configuration to three ports configuration right here. The first configuration I test is both USB-C ports right here which is rated for 130 watts maximum output but my test shows it can do 140 watts. That's amazing. Second is I try all three ports together. It's rated for 132.5 watts. My stress test shows it can do 135 watts. That's sweet. Overall, my test shows it does perform better than advertised which is a plus point coming from a notable brand like Ugreen. But here is a detailed diagram of how one or more ports is maxed out as well as a quick summary of each port's voltage, amperage and wattage. So here's the summary. The next note 45 watt goes for around 40 USD. Very suitable for MacBook Air, Windows Ultrabook, PC, those thin profile that runs on mobile processors, smartphone, drones, camera batteries, power stations or power banks, you name it, it's good to go. And I suggest actually getting a few of this 45 watt charger and put it in all the bags that you may have with a USB-C cable so in case a day before you forget to charge your device, you know that there's always that one charger in your bag, you can find a wall socket to emergency charge. This is a suggestion I recommend because I'm a clumsy guy and I tend to forget to charge my device a day before. But for powerhouse users, I recommend getting this baby right here, the 140 watts with multi-port charging right here because this right here is around 150 USD. I think it's amazing value for money because you can charge two MacBook Pro, Apple Silicon M1 Pro and I can tell you that uh, you and I have two MacBooks, we are using one charger to charge it instead of one Apple charger right here. Ugreen says it can charge a MacBook Pro 16 inch from 0 to 56% in just 30 minutes with a peak speed of 118 watts or about 1.8 times faster than the typical 65 watt charger. Now I only have the MacBook Pro 14 inch M1 Pro variant. My test show it can ramp up from 0% up to 90 watts then average down to 80 watts, 70 watts before hitting 58% in 30 minutes of charging. That's about 1.19 times faster than my stock Apple 67 watt charger or about close to 20% improvement. 
So it's not limited to MacBook Pros. You can use it for Thunderbolt 3, Thunderbolt 4 devices as well as upcoming gaming notebooks or gaming laptops are now featuring USB 4 charging speeds as well. So you don't need to use their typical you know, charging brick that looks big, feels heavy, does not offer extra ports right here. Just typical one port charging and you want to charge your device, you have to use the gaming notebook. Whereas the U-Green right here has extra USB-C port and a port right here. So you can juice up other devices at the same time. So for powerhouse users, I recommend this. For casual lifestyle, everyday go about, go for this right here. Now again, I'm going to show a size comparison. This is a 180 watt, this 140. This is my old Apple 60 watt right here. You can see the size comparison right here. So gun technology keeps everything compact and uh, much more power dense. So it's a higher efficiency and higher power delivery. As my test showed earlier, it does perform better than the rated advertised speeds. Now again, would I recommend this? <sighs> it's a no brainer. Yes, and I'll include links in the video description down below so you can find the updated price and maybe available discounts so you guys can buy it and use it in your daily life. So thank you for Ugreen for sending me this product. They have no any way, no way of influencing this review and all the other tests that I do. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel. The more subscribers we have, the more products that we can get from brands to review and showcase to you guys. Till then, thank you for watching. Leave some comment where you guys are from and I'll see you guys in the next Charger review. Sayonara.